everybody, welcome to the ladies room. I am Kelsey and today we have one of my favorite comedians, ladies and gentlemen, Margaret Cho! Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us. Thank you. You have a ton of fans here at BuzzFeed, so we're gonna so be like nice. kicking people I'm, off. I'm one of them. Oh. Hello. Hi. This is Kate. How are you? This is my co-host Kate. Hello. Oh, that was, I like your eye makeup. Thank you. It is really dope. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, bye. Thank you again for coming. You find a way to make a lot of like not funny shit really funny, mm -hmm. you know? How do you do that? I don't know. I mean, I think comedy really is about coping. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're kind of coping with is is what um, humor comes from. I identify more with people who are just like not afraid to say what they feel. You well, know? it's important to just speak your mind and speak mm -hmm. your truth, especially for women and in, in comedy especially. It's really a big, yeah. it's a big deal because there's not a lot of women in comedy, mm -hmm. but the ones that are, are really famous. Yeah. And really, really <laughs> good really at their funny. job. Yeah, and really and good. Their eye makeup is dope as hell. Exactly. So American Myth, that's your It's my album. album. It's like a music album, and with music, there's a different way of storytelling. Totally. I think always like comedians want to be musicians, and musicians always want to be comedians. Yeah. It's this weird trade-off. I think I'm more like Bruce Willis opening up a Planet Hollywood. Yes. Remember he was real bluesy? Yes. <laughs> Has Hollywood changed at all since All American Girl? Oh yeah, Hollywood has changed a lot because now we have much more diversity on yeah. it. It's great, it's inspiring, it's really important because there's a lot of different kinds of people, lots of different cultures that mm -hmm. we're seeing. As entertainment's grown, the world has become more um, open and accepting yeah. and, and so that, I think that's really positive. I feel like, especially with Asian Americans, a lot of us have so, so much of a feeling of invisibility mm -hmm. in show business. So right. when you can see somebody that's doing it, or has been doing it a long time, it's inspiring. So I, I feel really grateful that I've inspired yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, you're the OG. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna play a game called, which white person would play you in a movie? So which white person would play you in a movie? Hmm. I would say Jennifer Tilly, but then she's, I think she's half Asian. She seems to be very Asian adjacent to me. <laughs> okay, so let's flip the script. Which white person do you wanna play in a movie? A, Hillary Clinton in her Lifetime biopic. Oh, that's a good one. B, Jennifer Lawrence in The Hunger Games. Yes. Or C, all of the men in Monuments Men. I think um, all of the men in Monuments Men. Cause <laughs> like, come on. I like playing men, I think yeah. that's fun. Kate, who are you voting for? Oh, I am voting for Bernie if, well, I wish it, I wish it would work. I wish it would work out for him. I was, a, you know, a fan of the Clinton administration. Right. And I've already witnessed her be president for eight years. I think people underestimate her as a politician. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also think Bernie's great because he's such an idealist. You want to vote for your sort of what you really dream for. Mm -hmm. You know, people say, oh, Hillary can't be president because she'll just, when she gets on her period, she'll just nuke everything. And I'm like, what do you think Donald Trump's gonna, one thing pisses him off, he's like a third grader. He's just gonna hit the big red button. You know? I, I still think Bernie's great. I still, and I, but I think Hillary's great too. Yeah. Everyone's great except for Trump. Put that on a sticker. <laughs> so you're 420 friendly. Yes. So how does we affect your comedy? Because you can't come back for this one. Uh, <laughs> you can't really perform well high. No. It's really hard. And then also with marijuana, it does make you stupid. I oh, suggest man. people not start till their 30s. Yes. At least, because it's that's the best idea. Yeah, then figure out like how dumb you are and then just try to see if you can afford to be dumber. It's true, I'll have an idea for something and then I'll just my mind will just spin out of control and I'll just lay down. Yeah, I'll just, and I'll forget. What would a chomoji look like? Um, I, I have more soups. Oh. I would have, <laughs> I would have more food. You, you like with a bowl of soup on your chest. Yeah. So watching a food network show. Very, like a lot, not like a small bowl, but like a big, like I'm like a big, like a ramen eater. Yeah. Like I just got back from Japan and I what? just went, I, I went there to eat ramen. And it was so delicious. Goals, you guys. These are goals you need to have. There's some really weird kinds of cheese, even. They had like fried mozzarella sticks on one, and I was Wait, really surprised. What? That's some hangover shit right there. Somebody who was really hungover. That's good. Invented. Back down to more uh, serious questions. As a woman, I feel this weird like push and pull with getting external validation. At what point did you learn to just say eat shit and die? And what advice can you give to those of us who would like to do that? Well, you guys have to appreciate that you're young and you're beautiful and you're doing what you want to do now. For years, I didn't appreciate it. And now I look back and I'm like, oh my God, I was so hot. And I didn't <laughs> even know, like I was so like, like, 
caught up in not feeling mm. like it was enough and, and really your youth gets away from you mm. quicker than you realize. Especially in comedy, because it was mm. like always when like women were pretty, mm. it was just very hard to get people to laugh because people just don't expect it from pretty girls. And that's mm. like a thing that's not there anymore because now they, we have a lot of beautiful comedians. Right. Whereas before it was like people would really not trust you. Yeah. So it's so intimidating. It's intimidating. So it was like they would be like, what is this bitch fucking? Yeah. Doing? What does she bring? Yeah. But now that's not there anymore. Feminism has moved on mm. and yeah. helped us. So you should be glad. Yeah. What advice would you give to kids or specifically like females or Asian Americans that are being bullied right now? Oh, just to know that they have the strength to rise above it. Just try to just not pay attention to know that it's because they're afraid of you mm -hmm. or that they're threatened by you somehow and it's just really like a strength that you have that that is intimidating. Mm. So people bully the, the, the kind of people that intimidate them yes. and, and scare them. And so to turn it and flip it, if they, they can, you'll become their boss one day. Exactly. Or they'll be trying to fuck you one day because you're always the last to know how hot you are. Always last. <laughs> okay, so the way we end this is we take a selfie with this uh, Ooh, Polaroid. A lot. But then we put it on our wall. Okay. Oh, let's get Kate in here. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's uh, that's it. Do you guys want to go get some ramen or something? Okay, because I'm starving. Sounds good. Yeah.